morning. What kind of a day did you have today? Mom, guess what? I don't know. What? Mom, I started my first period. Well, what do you know? Come on, sit down. Tell me about it. My major was environmental studies, and I just started to learn more and more about how I can reduce my ecological footprint. And that kind of morphed into hearing about the menstrual cup, wanting to try that and like see how I could reduce my waste. And then it just continued expanding from there. My friends and I got a grant to India to talk about menstrual cups and just menstrual education. There were just more opportunities popping up to apply for innovations in business, and that's actually how we launched the business. enjoyed this like close look at working through like product engineering and product development. It was a world that I wasn't extremely familiar with, but I found interesting, but I didn't feel completely fulfilled from it. And I think that goes back to my beginning, the beginning of my journey where I, you know, I had this passion greater than just making a better cup. And I was kind of missing that piece. And then I ended up meeting Cindy through the product developer and we ended up becoming partners and I joined Menstrual Mates. We're technically both considered co-founders and we've been working on, continuing to work on the cup, but then expanding beyond that and working on developing awareness materials and social give back initiatives since. <laughs> Is it true that people can tell when you're menstruating? No, it isn't. But you should be more careful than ever about personal cleanliness and daintiness. Change your underwear more often and be sure and use a deodorant. And pay more attention to your hair and your nails and plan to wear your prettiest dress. In other words, be your most attractive self. Not everyone has a period. A period doesn't make someone a woman. There are trans men, non-binary people, gender fluid people who have periods who don't identify as a woman. And like I said, there are plenty of women who don't have periods for a number of reasons, whether it be like a medical is issue or they're taking a certain birth control or they're pregnant or they've gone through menopause. and. Cindy and I find it so important to kind of break apart the idea that periods equal a woman and woman equals you have to have a period. Separating boys and girls in our sex education, like our traditional manner, continues the stigma and the taboo of our bodies in general. And then many um, non-menstruating people won't ever know about a period or healthy reproduction um, until they are in an intimate relationship perhaps with someone or they go to seek that information much too late. People not having access to affordable and proper period products is not just a global issue for low-income countries, but we see it here in the United States. There are millions of women and menstruators in the United States who are experiencing homelessness who can't find period care products. They either can't afford them because they're too expensive or they're just not easily accessible. And it's causing people to use materials that aren't necessarily safe, whether it be 
you know, napkins or rags, things that could cause infections. And so ultimately we provide free resources on our social media accounts and on our website that's just like frequently asked questions and we provide a safe and open platform to give people the information that maybe they don't feel comfortable asking their friends or maybe they can't really find a solid answer online and we're kind of those experts to help them navigate things surrounding their periods and menstruation and, and even just like their bodies. Right now, our immediate next education material is the graphic novel, which is following a girl's first period with a more, a much more inclusive, diverse group. And Cindy and I, you know, really pride ourselves in this this work that we're doing because it's not another like period encyclopedia. It's not like cold and textbook like. It's very much so like a story and it's relatable and it's gender inclusive. And I feel like there's someone that each young person, each young menstruator can identify with. So that's in development now, the menstrual cup, but we've researched and saw that a lot of people find it intimidating to use and figure out how to use a menstrual cup. So that's also something that we want to help beginners with because we believe in safer product materials and just having a sustainable product option. That's something that's also reflects our values really well. Change starts at home. Whether you are a parent and you feel uncomfortable talking to your kid about periods, especially, you know, a dad, um, just have that conversation. So many people on this world have periods, but because people are not comfortable talking about them, it makes it difficult to have conversations towards making these things more accessible, toward making um, periods a more common discussion in, in politics and policies and at becoming a valid social issue that people are comfortable working towards combating. And there are plenty of things that we can do to help combat this issue. And that's trying to, you know, break down the stigma to have these conversations. And that's what we're trying to do as menstrual mates. <laughs>